All right. Now, I've made it no secret, so it should be fairly obvious to a lot of people, but when it comes to two-track editing and mastering, my default go-to program is Steinberg's WaveLab 6. Okay? Two reasons. Number one, it's fully operational. And number two, the only reason I'm hanging on to WaveLab is because I've got to use Mixbus 32C in demo mode, and that hiss that it randomly produces would just be annoying. I can deal with it, but for Old Mates Backyard Tech as well as Old Mates Non-Tech Channel, that would just wouldn't sound right. You know, randomly you hear s come through. So, no. It was either Thursday or yesterday, which was Friday here for, in Australia, a viewer put a comment on one of my previous WaveLab videos saying that their Waves plug-in packs were greyed out now in WaveLab. Now, the problem there is I don't know what Waves pack they're talking about, and I don't know which version of WaveLab they're talking about, and I don't know whether it's in just the effects bus that it's grayed out or whether it's in the dithering bus. But either which way, as you can see in the background, it's Old Mates Q&A and advice time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech, and for this one, I've already replied to the comment, but I thought it better I'd do a Q&A and advice video on it so that you can visualise if you are in a similar problem to this viewer, then I have some solutions that might just help you solve that problem. You got questions about some IT stuff. You got questions about AV stuff. You got questions about the 80 series Land Cruiser. You're at the right spot. From Old Mates Backyard Tech, this is Old Mates Q&A and Advice. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Q&A and Advice time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. And this is basically, as I said, I've already responded to the, to the comment, but I think it's best to do a video of it as well. Now the viewer says that their Waves plugin pack is greyed out in WaveLab. I don't know what Waves they're running. I don't know what version of WaveLab they're running. I don't know if it's in the effects channel or the dithering channel. I have no idea, but apparently it's greyed out. Reasons behind this can be a few. Number one, the Wave shell didn't load properly when you've gone to open up WaveLab, which means it won't have cached the VST effects properly. Two, you may have accidentally changed your VST location and the cache is looking for it but can't find it. Or three, which has happened to me, and that's a compatibility error between WaveLab and the WAVs plugin pack you're going to run. I do know that occasionally Halion can pack up as well. I've had that happen to me in WaveLab 5. All right. So, as I said, WaveLab is my default two track editor because it's fully operational. It's not running in demo mode, it's fully operational. And I've got, unfortunately, I've got some very old WAVs plugins that. Mixbus cannot load. And that's not, that's nothing against Mixbus. That's just because my pack is just too old. So let me explain a few things as to why it can happen. I had it happen to me in WaveLab 5. I have not hap had it happen to me in WaveLab 6. But I'm going to give you a few pointers that if you're in a similar boat to this viewer, some ideas to look at. Now, before we get into it, though, you can guarantee the know-it-all experts are going to be totally going off their tropo over this because, number one, it's software. Number two, we're using the main PC. Number three, we're talking about Pro Audio. And number four, as usual, they will be critical of the everything I do. I'm used to it now. So let me grab the desktop. We'll fire up WaveLab, and I'll show you what can sometimes happen if the WAV shell or WAV shell 5 doesn't load properly, and you'll know it. All right, so as you can see, I have all sorts of stuff here. So WaveLab 6. Now, all my WAVES plugins work. Okay, I don't have a problem. But the viewer said in here, all the, oh, you can't actually see that, hold on. Let me just shrink myself down a little bit. Hold on. Try that. That was my mistake. So, 
in here, right, so these are your effects channels, as we know. And so you have your ASIO, ASIO effects, which is just your audio input and your external gear, for want of a better term, patch. You have your direct X. You have your oldies, which allows you to resample things up to 192 kilohertz. And you have your VSTs. Now you have your default Steinberg VSTs and then WAVs. Now I normally pull mine out of DirectX just because I'm lazy and normally I can go to DirectX first. The problem is, if these are greyed out, okay, for whatever reason and they're being cached by WaveLab, it will also ring true, if I can move this over to here a moment, that your dithering is also gonna be greyed out because your WAVs pack isn't just your effects pack, it's your dithering pack as well. So you can see there, you've got your your two UV22s, your IDRs, and your uh, ultra maximizers, and your L2 maximizer, which are basically your hard limiters. All right, we've spoken about that in Pro Audio. Now, what causes the VSTs not to load properly? Well, first off, the WAV shell may not work properly. If WAV shell doesn't load properly, it's not gonna work properly. Your WAV's plug-in packs are not gonna fire off. Two, compatibility. You may be trying to run a very new version of WAV's in an old version of WaveLab. Or three, you've accidentally shifted your VSTs. Now, WaveLab prefers, and I say prefers, it doesn't mean it has to be there, trust me. But it does prefer the VSTs to be in their default location. All right, which is x86 slash Steinberg slash VST plugins. That's where it prefers them to be. However, if you've deticked that and grabbed a custom folder and all these are still sitting around, you're going to be in trouble. So what happens if you have a problem with your VST cache or your VST plugins and Wave Labs having a complete SH1T fit about it. Three of the solutions, there are a whole lot more I've tried, but I'll give you my first three that you may be able, may help you, I should say, get around a problem. First off, uninstall all your Waves packs and reset Wave Lab back to factory default VST locations. That's one thing you can do, all right? Let me just bring myself up a little bit more so you guys can actually listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So, you could delete or uninstall all your WAVs packs, reset WaveLab back to factory default, and then reinstall WAVs. That's one way. Number two, uninstall your VSTs, reset WaveLab back to factory default, Shut down and restart your PC. Well, number three, find out whether it's a compatibility issue. That happened to me with WaveLab 5. And my SSL, well, I don't have it now, I'm not using it, but my SS, S, SSL 4000 pack would not load in, in WaveLab 5. It just constantly said unable to load Waves Pack. When I went to six, it worked. The unfortunate thing might be also is that your Wave Lab's broken. I doubt it, but that's an option. Now, I mean, as we saw yesterday in our um, how I used to remix. Uh, videos, the two videos from yesterday with a third coming out today, may I remind you. WaveLab is my default two-track editor. And so it doesn't just do what we did in it yesterday. Sometimes I've got to do stuff for Old Mates Backyard Tech and Old Mates Non-Tech Channel as well in two-track mode in WaveLab. Can I do it in Mixbus? Yes, I can. But in demo mode, it's, you yeah, know, no offense to Harrison, but in demo mode, I can't do this sort of stuff in Mixbus because that hiss is just going to drive people mental. So, what I what I would suggest to this viewer, I don't have the comment up at the moment, but I suggest this viewer, 
reset WaveLab back to factory default, reset, uninstall your WAVs packs, restart your computer, in, don't open WaveLab, install WAVs, make sure it goes into the default folder, which is, as I said, is normally C drive backslash program files x86 backslash Steinberg backslash VST plugins. I just know that off the top of my head all the time. And Cubase normally looks in there as well. Have a look at that problem. If that doesn't work, you're probably going to find either the WAVS5 shell is not, uh, WaveLab5 shell is not loading properly, which means it's broken, or you've got a caching error. Or it's a compatibility problem. As I said, the SSL 4000 plugin pack would not load in WaveLab 5. But when I went to 6, it worked beautifully. So there's a compatibility problem. All right. Also make sure that it's not trying to load RTAS plugins as well. Because RTAS is... Um, I've forgotten. <laughs> I had it. RTAS plugins are for um, my mind's gone blank. I can't think. Um, Pro Tools. Sorry, my mind went blank then. <laughs> RTAS is normally for Pro Tools, but Pro Tools can run, run both RTAS and VST. Um, oh, I can't believe my mind went blank then. So, um, to that viewer, if you've got a problem, check your compatibility, check your VST settings. If it's all busted, the ultimate, the only other ultimate option you'd, you'd have is if it all goes pear-shaped on you, and you can't be bothered doing what I've suggested, and you want to take the easy way out, remove the whole lot, reboot your computer, and start again. I've only ever heard of that happening once, and it wasn't, strangely enough, it wasn't to old mate. Um, someone I knew, uh, they were having trouble with, with the VSTs. They basically blew away WaveLab, blew away the VST plugins cache, reinstalled WaveLab fresh, reinstalled the plugins, and everything worked. So, as I said, because, see, what you've got to remember is, with this, is that both DirectX and VST, all right, now DirectX is not going to show you anything if you don't have any. VST will only show all this. Ah, good. It is in there. That makes me happy. I actually hadn't checked WaveLab to see if the AVA plugins were there, but they are. That's good. Um... If your WAVs pack's not working properly, both your, well, your DirectX isn't going to work to start with. But down here where you've got uh, WAVs, okay, if that's all right to work but all that's grayed out, it means you've definitely got a loading issue. So if you're in a similar boat, try some of those solutions and see what happens. But as I said, if it all just blows up in your face, just blow away your install, blow away your WAVs plugins, and when I say blow them away, I literally mean delete the whole lot. Uninstall the whole program, clear the registry out of everything, make sure the, the folders are all empty and start again. I've never had to do that myself, luckily. But then again, see, I know this software. Right, I know WaveLab. I also now know Mixbus too. Can't half tell I'm enjoying it. Anyway, there we are. Old mate's Q&A and advice for weekend Saturdays. Stick around. More coming up. And have a good one.